It's not just the organisers who are improving safety measures. Others are innovating because the TT is still the ultimate proving ground for new technology. The Isle of Man is, is, is known as one of the, well, probably the toughest road race in the world. And we're using this year uh, one of the top riders, Guy Martin, to uh, test all the telemetry. The engineers, the telemetry people, can look at the forces exerted uh, on a rider as you're going down Bray Hill, you can imagine the colossal forces uh, in many places of the Isle of Man and they'll be taking all this data back to Italy and hopefully developing the next uh, version which will be the road going version. TT riders insist they know what they're doing when they race here and the dangers involved. Frankly they say it wouldn't be the Isle of Man TTs if it wasn't dangerous. It's a man's sport for men and um, you get on with it. You get on with it. Um, I think we've had a lost a couple of mates this year in Martin Finnegan and, and Robert Dunlap but it's, um, it's a dangerous sport no one's making us do it we all know the risks um, and we just have to get on with it you know and um, if, it, if it was easy everybody would be doing it wouldn't they? John Desborough on the Isle of Man Hanson, thank you very much indeed. Now, this year's TT races on the Isle of Man are underway with a new emphasis on safety because last year a rider and two spectators were killed at the event. Well, John Desborough now reports on the dangers facing drivers and the new safety precautions which have been introduced for this year's event. Well, you're rushing in here at 170 miles an hour. You can imagine how fast you're coming into here. So where do I go in? Where do I go in? Where do I go in? You can't see, you can't see, you can't see. There you go. There's the curb. That's what I'm looking for. The inside of the curb. As soon as I see that, I throw the bike on its side and gas it hard. Okay. This Kiss is Richard Quayle, right known at the side, TT though. races okay, as Milky. It's because of people like him that the Isle of Man is a safer place these days. Milky is a Manx man, a TT winner. But five years ago, he crashed badly at about 120 miles an hour. <laughs> I went in too early and it just caught my shoulder on the rock face. There's a jagged rock face here on your left, but we've put boards there now to stop this from happening. But I was over on the right, as I went into here, I just snagged my shoulder on this rock face just there, and that pulled me off the bike, and then I went into the wall on the right here, on the, on the right hand side. I flew through the air, and then I hit the wall on the left here. So he doesn't race anymore. Yeah. Just ride the bump, which is just there. Feel that bump. As soon as you ride that, you're back on the power again. Instead, he shows the new competitors how to tackle the circuit. Hopefully I can give them a little bit of input, keep them nice and safe, and they know where they're going. And this is where Milky Quail's career came to an end. And then last year in the Centenary TT, a rider and two spectators were killed in an incident that happened up on the mountain. Three of over 200 deaths in the 100 years of this event. The coroner's report called for changes, for security and safety to be tightened up but marshals to be better trained. There's significant interest in it from the sort of health and safety brigade simply because it's so dangerous. Um, and it, the, that's why the event has really had to, to, to develop really aggressively, particularly in the last few years, you know, 21st century sensitivities um, are a lot different to, to how it was maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago. There's a lot more money invested in safety precautions. We've seen a, a dramatic rise in that spend and, and then hopefully the, the delivery. It's not just the organisers who are improving safety measures. Others are innovating because the TT is still the ultimate proving ground for new technology. The Isle of Man is, is, is known as one of the, well, probably the toughest road race in the world. And we're using this year uh, one of the top riders, Guy Martin, to uh, test all the telemetry. The engineers, the telemetry people, can look at the forces exerted uh, on a rider as you're going down Bray Hill, you can imagine the colossal forces uh, in many places of the Isle of Man and they'll be taking all this data back to Italy and hopefully developing the next uh, version which will be the road going version. TT riders insist they know what they're doing when they race here and the dangers involved. Frankly they say it wouldn't be the Isle of Man TTs if it wasn't dangerous. It's a man's sport for men and um, you get on with it. You get on with it. Um, I think we've had a We've lost a couple of mates this year in Martin Finnegan and, and Robert Dunlap, but it's, um, it's a dangerous sport. No one's making us do it. We all know the risks, um, and we just have to get on with it. You know, and um, if, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, wouldn't they? John Desborough, Sky News, on the Isle of Man.